Hello and welcome to the Pickle Jar. My name is Josh and in today's video I'm going to show you how to paint heat damaged metal. Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial on the channel. This week I thought I would show you my nice easy tutorial on how to paint heat damaged metal. So you can use this on things like flamers and melter weapons. You can also use it on jets, on engines and things like that. It's a nice easy technique to follow and it gives your models just that little bit of something extra to look at. Before we get going with the tutorial, just want to say if you're enjoying the tutorials playlist on the channel, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. And if you are new to the Pickle Jar, then please consider subscribing so you can keep up to date with all the tutorials that we release in the future. With that out of the way, here we go with the tutorial. To start with, I'm base coating the entirety of the weapon in lead belch silver. This is a nice metallic base coat to work from and it's generally my go-to metal colour. Once that was done, I then watered down some tin bits and I'm putting this on the flamer end of the weapon. Now this is the sort of base coat for the damage. Once that was on and dry, I watered down some Zeros purple and I'm going sort of from the middle of the flamer end up to the end, leaving a little bit of the bronze showing from the previous layer. Now don't worry too much about this being going on too thin, we will sort out the pooling later on. Now once that was on and still a little bit wet, I then took some Gulliman blue glaze and started proceeding to paint the end of the flamer weapon. Now this looks quite bright when it's going on but once it's dried it does fade back down. Once all three of these paints are dried I then took some runefang silver and proceeded just to highlight some of the uh, edges of the, sort of the, the holes in the end of the weapon and around the edge of the weapon just to bring some of that detail back. Now looking at it I decided that it had not actually taken as much as I would have liked so I went back to the third step and took some more Gulliman blue glaze and just added a little bit onto the end just to brighten that up and then also went back and took some more watered down Zeros purple for the middle area blending those together as best I could and that is the end result as I said it's a nice and easy tutorial so there you go guys that is how I paint my heat damaged metal as I said it's a nice easy process to follow not very many steps to it very very easy to follow I use this on my flamer weapons, on my salamanders, and I have previously used a similar technique on uh, the engines on my Dark Eldar bikes and jets and raiders and things like that. Obviously you can increase the intensity of colours depending on what sort of look you're wanting to go for. On this example I painted them quite dull just because on flamers I think that it would be quite dull whereas on engines maybe you want to go a little bit brighter. But as I said that's the basic technique and you do with it what you will. Really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below let me know your thoughts. And if you're new to the Pickle Jar, then please consider subscribing so you can keep up to date with all the tutorials that we're releasing in the future. If you want to check out the other tutorials on the channel, we've got a full playlist where you can find everything that we release. If you've got any suggestions for a future tutorial episode, be sure to get in contact with us on our Twitter, Facebook or Instagram pages or leave a comment down below. That's all from me and I'll see you next week with another video.